Good morning, friends. Happy Friday. It is Friday again, and it is the final day of the purple plan for me for the week. So I'm not going to talk too much about that because I'll be uploading that video on Sunday where I go all into the details of how my week on the purple plan went. So today we are here to talk about my way in and do a recap of this week's workshop. So my week went well. I followed the purple plan all week, stayed within the points that I was allowed on the purple plan. My exercise took a little bit of a nosedive this week. I actually only did jazzercise once. I just for some reason was not feeling the movement this week. I had grand plans of doing jazzercise a little bit more, but I only ended up doing it once. Now I did get quite a few steps throughout the rest of the week just from doing things around my house, cleaning my house, doing my grocery shopping, working out in our yard a little bit, but I certainly did not get my sweat on and get my jazzercise in like I like to do three days a week. So that is one of my goals for this upcoming week. We'll talk more about that after the workshop. So I uh, have recorded my weight for the week so far. So from last Friday to this Friday, this will not be my purple plan week weight. I'm going to reweigh in tomorrow morning, Saturday to get an exact number for the week on the purple plan. But nonetheless, I weighed in for this week and I am going to attend my virtual workshop and I'll be back to share the topic and my weigh in. <music> Welcome back friends. I am out of my virtual workshop. Fabulous topic. As usual, we talked about how to bust a bad mood. So when we're feeling just kind of grouchy and crabby and down, what can we do to bust that bad mood? Now for me, it could be anything from getting in a little activity to watching maybe some bad TV, like some reality TV or something that just is mindless, but also entertaining. Maybe reading a book, meditating, taking a breather sitting outside on your patio, whatever your vices are to help with your bad mood. That's what we talked about this week. So WW shared three tips on how to bust a bad mood. So let's jump right in. So getting in some activity, moving our body has a lot of health benefits, not just help with our mood, but also help with our weight loss goals and just our overall health. But there are so many mood lifting, mood enhancing benefits to activity. Now this could really be any kind of activity. You can dance around your living room and just the art of doing that just puts a smile on your face and automatically increases our mood. There are also aerobic exercises such as walking, jazzercise like what I do, going to the gym, doing some strength training, as well as mood enhancing exercises like yoga and meditation really help as well. So a type of activity is automatically going to number one, take our mind off of the mood that we're in, which is always a good thing. And number two is going to produce things such as serotonin, which automatically boost our mood. And I don't know about you, but when I'm finished with a workout or any type of movement, I just feel better and feel really accomplished that I got in that movement and got in that exercise. So that alone helps my mood, not to mention all of the serotonin and those other things that I'm producing that are mood enhancers as well. Next is get specific. Not all exercise fits all. We have to find the one that fits us. So for example, if going downstairs in your basement and walking on the treadmill literally fills you with dread, go outside, go on a walk outside or hop online and get on YouTube or on the internet and find a walking video that you can do in the upstairs of your home where it's bright and airy and your family is just so you feel a little bit more motivated to do that exercise. Now, let's say that you're like me and jazzercise or dancing is what you like to do for movement. Get on YouTube and find a dance video. There's things such as the fitness marshal. I know there's a couple of other pop sugar I think is another one or grab Jazzercise On Demand and do a dance strength training routine that's going to make you feel better and bust your bad mood. And the third tip is when you're doing this activity, set your own pace. Don't try to keep up with the Joneses. Don't say, well, if that person on the internet can do 70 reps and I can only do 20, that's okay. You do you. You do the exercise at the intensity and the level that works for you. Some movement is better than no movement. That little bit of movement or large amount of movement is really going to help bust your bad mood. I know that during this time it's tough 
we're stressed out we are wondering what our new normal is going to look like what does the future hold for us and it can put us in a funk it can put us in a bad mood so i think these three tips with adding a little bit of activity is really beneficial for our mood and of course it's beneficial for our overall health our strength our mobility and our weight loss so it's really truly a win-win so taking these tips and putting these into use is awesome. Just make sure you're finding an activity you enjoy and you're doing it at a pace that works for you. We're not all the same. We're not a one size fits all and neither is activity. So super, super great topic. They have been right on point with their topics throughout this pandemic. It's been amazing. So way to go, WW. So with that being said, let's talk a little bit about my week. Again, I've been on the purple plan all week. I don't want to go into too much detail on how that went. We talked a little bit about my activity not being where it needs to be. So again, this topic really hits home for me. I have a commitment to myself for this next week with activity. I have a goal, a commitment. So I prefer to do jazzercise at least three days a week. Now, Sunday is Mother's Day, so there aren't any live classes but I'm not going to let that get me down. I'm going to do Jazzercise On Demand on Sunday, and I'm going to do it Facebook Live with my instructors and my local group on Tuesday and Wednesday. That guarantees me three days of movement this week. And the weather here is supposed to be outstanding, so I think I'm going to add a, another day on to that week of a walk. I'm going to take a walk in this beautiful weather, maybe Thursday or Friday of this next week. So those are kind of my goals as far as movement and exercise go. My plan is to talk a lot more about my WW goals in my recap of my week on the Purple Plan. Again, that will be posted on Sunday, so definitely watch and stay tuned for that so that you guys can see kind of what my plan is moving forward for the next week and even maybe what my long-term goals are. So when I stepped on the scale today, I am really, really happy with the results considering I did not have any or as much movement as I liked this last week. I shouldn't say any because I did do one day of jazzercise, but I lost 1.2 pounds, which is amazing. So every week so far in May, I have lost. So that is really, really exciting. I'll take it. I'm thrilled with a weight loss of 1.2 pounds, especially with everything going on. Yay me. I'm really happy with that. So that is it for me. I want to hear from you guys. How are you guys doing? Like, honestly, how are you doing with everything as things are starting to reopen, kind of get back to more of a normal? What are your thoughts on how you're going to look at WW activity when you're in a bad mood, stress, all the things? I want to hear from you guys down in the comments. Let me know how your weeks went, how your weigh-in went. Was it good? Was it bad? Was it what you expected? If you're new to my channel, I do a weigh-in every Friday. We talk all about the workshop, so it's a great way to feel like you were part of the WW in-person workshop here on YouTube. So definitely make sure you're subscribed hit that little subscribe button and make sure your bell is turned on so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. A lot of you say that you don't receive the notification, so just make sure that you've hit that little bell icon right next to the subscribe button. If you are here for the weigh-in videos, give this one a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it helps my channel out so, so much. And make sure that you leave your comments. I truly wanna hear how you guys are doing. And on a side note, because I'm probably going to get a lot of questions, the lashes that I have on today are the Tory Bell. I talked about this a little bit with you guys on my Facebook group. These are magnetic lashes that are amazing. I'm going to link them down below. Reach out if you have any questions. My lip color is the Vibrant Red from Beauty Counter. I'll make sure I link that as well. And my necklace I showed you guys in my What I Eat in a Day comes from Yafini Jewelry and they are customizable. And that's down below as well with a 20% discount. I know I'm going to get questions, so I went ahead and answered those all for you here. So I hope you guys are doing well. I'll talk with you guys in the comments. Thank you for watching today's video. Stay safe, stay healthy, get some movement in, get rid of your bad moods, and have a good week. Love you guys. Bye.